here's another little project. Uh, this is probably one of the most advanced things I ever built, mainly because it required a lot of scripting, and I had to actually follow an online tutorial and transcribe all of the scripts for the clocks by hand, <laughs> because the guy who did the tutorial um, apparently didn't think it would be very prudent to post the actual script for the clock. Uh, it's actually pretty hard to script a realistic clock in Second Life. Um, it's easy to do it with uh, textures and have a plane rotate <coughs> with a hand texture on it, but to actually create a three-dimensional clock is quite a bit more challenging when it comes to scripting. Now, as you can see, uh, this clock is accurate to real world time. It's uh, 6 13 p.m. PST. And uh, of course, I did a little bit of styling here myself to uh, make this a little more legible. The red hand is the hour hand, you know, the biggest uh, unit on a standard clock, so it's the thickest uh, hand. The minute hand is yellow. I mean, it's the, it was kind of like uh, a lot of thought went into these color choices, even though it looks really ordinary. It's kind of like red is a s slow, kind of like a stop sign. Red, yellow is kind of like the transitory. Green is the, the the go light, you know, the fast the fast thing. So it's kind of kind of symbolic. It makes it easier to read quicker. Um, so every five seconds, one of these colored spheres falls from the uh, orifice right here and falls down into this cup. Now these are temporary, so depending on how high the lag is in the sim, this cup may fill up and overflow, or they may just fall into there and disappear as it's replenished and never actually overflow. So this is a four-sided clock. It's kind of like a clock tower that you would find in like a mall or in some kind of old village or something. Although this is actually way too modern looking for an old village. This uh, motif that I used here for the uh, the supports uh, that's kind of a version of the Neotoy pictograph with the uh, smaller circle inside the larger circle. That was just kind of like an homage or whatever. So anyway, that's my clock tower. It's pretty cool looking helps you uh, keep track of time while you're building, both uh, visually and orally. <laughs>